So in middle school, I did have an obsession with Yu-Gi-Oh! And I uh, went back today and saw my old Yu-Gi-Oh! cards in this tin box, and I decided might as well do something with it. So what I decided was to try to harden the cards and turn it into a butterfly knife. It's not the most amazing knife, but it, it looks really cool, and I, I want it to hang on my wall. So basically all I did was, um, first, basically I, I opened my tin and I, I decided which cards uh, were in good enough condition for me to, to actually harden into paper, and then I looked at the cards that looked the best in terms of artwork, which I could turn into the lid, because I wanted the handle to be made of the backs of the card, and the blade to be made, made out of my favorite art from the Yu-Gi-Oh! So these are all the cards that I really like the artwork for and I'm, and I'm going to choose out of these four cards which I want to use as the blade. And then all of these are the cards that are in good condition to be hardened. So for this part we're going to be creating a template out of all the, the cards. And basically this template's going to be one card in width and two cards in, uh, in length. And then it's gonna, in thickness it's going to be fi five cards. So basically you're going to have to cut some cards in half, but other than that you're going you're gonna to use glue and the, the usual hardened paper method that I use um, with, with elements glue just to harden it. So here's what it looks like. So you're going to be layering the cards like bricks. So basically you're going to have to cut some cards in half as, as, I, as I did here. So basically you're just going to, uh, and every other layer is going to require you to cut one card in half and place it on either side of the, the center card. So I finished this template and what I'm going to do now is leave it under some heavy textbooks to dry so that it doesn't it doesn't fray at all or it doesn't um, it doesn't warp. And then I'm going to move on to the next template where I'm going to have the out the artwork on the cards showing on the outside. So these are the four that I chose. It's going to be two on each side. And basically all you want to do is create the same template except um, on either side you want to have these four cards showing.
sorry about the weird lighting in the shot but um basically i i let the two templates dry and then i drew the blade onto the onto the blade template and then i i divided the the other template into four parts uh so basically forts and uh basically what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take a craft knife and i'm gonna cut both of these things out and then we'll move on from there Basically, this is what the, the blade looks like. It looks really cool to me because I see the, the flames that are holographic at the tip of the blade. That's pretty much it for the blade. Um, now I'm going to cut the, the other template into four parts. So basically I cut the, the handles a little bit short and then I, I rounded it off so it, it fits the, the blade well. And then basically the part that I cut off I want to keep it <clears throat> because I'll be using those as as spacers for the for the handles. So you want to leave those for now and then we're going to move on to the next step which is making the holes. So I took a small thumbtack and I, I first I made the initial hole in all the parts that I needed to. And then I slowly started um, to make the hole bigger and bigger until it could fit a toothpick in it. and then. And then we, from there, we could fit the toothpicks in and make sure that uh, it flips well, and then, and then we can cut the toothpick to, to length. So I finally got all the toothpicks into place. This is what it looks like, but the handles are still separated at this point, so we need to take the spacers that I cut out into to really thin strips and stack them too high and then use them as spacers. I'm going to be using super glue for this just because it dries a lot faster than normal Elmer's glue. So now that the spaces are in place, you can see the blade will flip properly and there'll be space for the blade to flip into the handle. Basically all we have to do now is take some scissors and uh, cut the toothpicks to length if, and then from there you can either um, you can either leave it like that or you can put some glue to make sure that the, the pins, st the toothpicks stay in place. <clears throat> the only problem I did with this build was that I forgot to leave space for a tang pin. So basically it's not going to... It's not gonna. The blade won't stay properly if you don't, if you try to flip it, but it's not. It's gonna be hanging on my wall, so I don't really care about that. Really enjoyed this build. Um, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, and I'll be back next time.